You're listening to the Abounding Faith for Today podcast. Inspiration for you as you walk by abounding faith, hope, and love and live your God-given dreams. Welcome to episode 52 of the Abounding Faith for Today podcast. I'm your host, Nancy Gavilanas, and I'm so happy to be here with you today. Today, we're celebrating the one-month anniversary of my new book, God-Given Dreams, Six Ways to Live Your Divine Purpose. This is my first book with Nav Press, and wow, what a wonderful launch month it's been. Can you believe that there was a global social media outage on the launch day for God-Given Dreams and a 4.8 earthquake on the first month anniversary? I'm not sure what all that means, but thank you so much for all the prayers and encouragement. God-Given Dreams has been described as elegant, warm, inspiring, no-nonsense and practical, biblical and motivational, refreshing and recharging, beautifully written and a breath of fresh air. Praise God! God-Given Dreams is sure to inspire, encourage, and empower God's beloved daughters to be the fabulous, fierce, and fruitful women God has called them to be. I've shared my heart and soul in this book. I'm sharing parts of my faith journey as well as Bible verses and Bible characters who have inspired me, the six seas of transformation that I prayerfully created for my coaching clients and Bible school students, prayer prompts, and action step ideas. The reflection questions at the end of each chapter are perfect for answering solo or with your family, friends, connect group, women's ministry, book club, cohort, etc. God-Given Dreams makes a wonderful gift for the phenomenal women in your life for all occasions. I'm so excited that God-Given Dreams is available wherever books are sold. March and April are always such a special time for me. This year, I not only got to celebrate the launch of my new book, God-Given Dreams, but also the anniversaries for the trio that started my book journey years ago. The trio of Waiting on God Well, Abounding Faith, and Crossing Your Jordan River. I'm grateful that God has allowed me to write five indie Christian living books and devotionals, including By Faith and Feisty Faith, my first traditionally published book with Nav Press, and to contribute two entries to the Rhythms of Rest devotional from Our Daily Bread's Voices collection back in 2021. Yes, I've written and contributed to seven books in all so far. I'm so honored that God created, called, and chose me to be a writer and author. Back when I was writing in the diary my mom gave me when I was a little girl, and when I was making mini magazines out of loose leaf paper in fifth grade, and writing for my high school and college and local newspapers, I had no thought of writing books one day. My dream was to write for magazines, and amazingly, that came true. I also wrote for a major newspaper. But as my journalism career flourished, I grew further and further from God. When God called me out of my journalism career, my writing went into hiding for years. God had a plot twist for me, which I share about in my books. It's been a long and winding road to get here. I've known the highs and lows and challenges of launching five Christian living books and devotionals as an indie author. Some may look down at that choice, but that was the door the Lord opened first for this Christian Latina author. My journalism training definitely helped me publish the books with excellence. Those books have encouraged many near and far, and I see my indie books as what it must be like to be an indie filmmaker. I use the gift and talents the Lord blessed me with to bless others. It's been nine years since I released my first book. The skills and experience I've gained during those years have helped me as I worked with my wonderful team at Nav Press. This new book is one of my writing milestones, breakthroughs, and God-given dreams come true. It seems so out of reach for years. This definitely wasn't an overnight breakthrough, but it's here now. It's right on time according to God's timetable. God knows what's on the other side of our yes. Absolutely one of the best Christian nonfiction books I have read is what one Amazon reviewer has said. Oh my, I'm so touched to read that. What a blessing to hear from my readers and listeners like you. Your kind feedback is greatly appreciated. You can find recaps of this amazing book launch month on Abounding Faith's social media, my miraculouslovely.com blog, and right here on the Abounding Faith for Today podcast. I would like to share a few more shout outs and thank yous. So how surreal is it that authors such as Anne Voskamp, Pam Farrell, 
and Jennifer Rothschild have helped to spread the word about God-given dreams. I'm so grateful for their support. I'm so grateful for these fellow authors whose books encouraged me, especially early in my faith journey, for helping to welcome me into the world of traditional Christian publishing. You can read my guest post for Anne Voskamp's blog at the link that I'll include in the show notes. You'll be able to listen to the episodes where I'm interviewed on Jennifer Rothschild's and Pam Farrell's podcasts in the summer. I'm delighted to share that Abounding Faith's media page is now updated. I'll share that link in the show notes as well. Some of the links you'll find are the ones to including the live interview that I did for the Mornings with Carmen LeBurge show for Faith Radio. You'll also find my interview with Wrapped Interviews, an interview with Brian Elaine of Find Your Next Calling, and a book excerpt on the Hispanic Theological Initiative's site, Open Plaza. I'm so grateful to the media outlets that shared book excerpts or invited me to be interviewed on their shows, or also people who invited me to be interviewed on their sites. What a joy and honor it was to join author Pam Farrell and her seasoned sisters online book club to talk about God-given dreams. It was so lovely to speak, pray, and worship with sisters in different states, including California, Arizona, and Idaho. It was a beautiful way to round out my book launch month festivities. I could go on and on. There's so much I could share. But again, as I mentioned, you can find book launch recaps at MiraculousLovely.com, links to media appearances on Abounding Faith's media page, and tons of updates on Abounding Faith's social media sites. I really do pray that God-given dreams will reach the hands of many women near and far. God willing, it'll be translated into different languages. And I pray that it will inspire and empower women of diverse backgrounds and ages and life stages to dare to live their God-given dreams. If God-given dreams inspires you and encourages you, I hope that you'll take a moment to leave a kind review on Amazon or Goodreads. Your feedback is so important Your kind ratings and reviews help others find out about this book. Again, I so appreciate everyone who's been praying for me and cheering me on and helping to spread the word about this new and inspiring book. And I pray that God will give you the courage to live your divine purpose. Thanks so much for helping me celebrate this major writing milestone. And thanks for being a listener of the Abounding Faith for Today podcast. I'd love to hear from you. Feel free to subscribe to this podcast so you don't miss any episodes. I hope you'll also join Abounding Faith's email community. That's a wonderful way to get regular updates and emails from me. I send them out once a week, usually on Monday afternoons. So what big dreams has God placed on your heart? What is he stirring inside of you? I hope you'll take some time to ponder those questions and to pray and reflect on them and see what the Lord says. So let me go ahead and pray for you before we wrap up today's episode. Father God, thank you, Lord. I thank you for each and every person listening. I pray that you would continue blessing them and strengthening them and giving them the courage they need to say yes to you and to step out in faith and to say yes to your divine will for their life and continue guiding them as they live the dreams that you've placed in their heart. We thank you and we honor and we bless you and we ask us all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It's been great spending this time together. And until next time, God bless. You've been listening to the Abounding Faith for Today podcast. For more encouragement on your faith journey, visit AboundingFaith.com and follow Abounding Faith on social media.